It's a scene we've seen before along local beaches. Swimmers linking arms to form a human chain, attempting to save someone caught in a rip current. Earlier today at Emerald Isle Beach Resort on Panama City Beach, a human chain once again saved the lives of multiple people by pulling them out of rough Gulf waters. News 13's Emily McLeod is live in our studios tonight. Emily, this started off with someone trying to rescue a child from that rip current. Amy, this happened shortly before one this afternoon. Witnesses tell us they heard a child screaming for help in the water. One woman swam out to get the little girl and successfully got her back to safety. But other adults who also tried to help soon became victims of the same current. I've never felt the ocean pull as hard as it did today. Brianna Stelmachers and her husband Ryan and two kids were on the beach when they heard a little girl caught in the Gulf screaming for help. One woman swam out to save the girl and succeeded. However, a second woman joined the rescue effort and got stuck in the Gulf. That's when Ryan Stelmachers and two other people got involved. So once, you know, my husband got out there and I saw they were struggling, you know, I kind of panicked. But, um, you know, the strangers held my daughter and watched my son while I could help and everyone got back in safe. Ryan Stelmachers says he took his raft out to save the woman, but the current was too strong to swim back in. But the current kept pulling us out, pulling us out, pulling us out. And every time we take one step forward, it would take us back three steps. Stelmacher says if it weren't for the human chain, he doesn't think they would have made it to shore. And I've swam in a lot of oceans and done a lot of things and I've never experienced anything like that. It's real. Mother nature is no joke. Stelmacher says Wednesday's water conditions were the worst he's ever seen. I would take it seriously. I'll, I'm the last person in the world to say that because I'm always like, let's go to the beach. You know, let's, it's no big deal. I'm not scared, but that was no joke today. Single red flags were flying on the beach at Emerald Isle this earlier this afternoon. They have since been changed to double red. Beach safety officials say they do discourage human chains, even though today's rescues was successful. Sometimes they can also be dangerous and leading to more rescues. Amy. Thank you, Emily.